Welcome to Only Good Heroes. I'm your host, Lucia Nazaro. And on this show, we are highlighting incredible people and organizations making a huge difference in their communities and our world during this time of need. On today's show, we're welcoming the president and vice president of Quarantine Tutors, Julia and Betsy. How are you both? Good, how are you? Good, thanks for joining us. No problem. So who's president and who is vice president? So I'm Julia and I'm the president and then Betsy's the vice president. Yeah. So tell us more about what Quarantine Tutors is and how it came to be. Ever since school was canceled and we were doing online learning, we saw the difficulties and so we talked and we both decided that it would be a good idea to maybe use our extra time in a positive manner. So we started talking to our friends to see if they were interested to tutor and many people loved our idea and we also wanted it to 100% be free because we know that there are some economic difficulties as a result of coronavirus and so we didn't want to cause any more stress for parents. So going into your junior years and instead of during your free time saying, I have all this extra time for myself, you're asking yourself how you can help other people, which is amazing. So how does this work? If I'm interested or have a child that's interested, how does the process of quarantine tutors work? So basically, um, the parents can like access our website um, and there's a form there that they fill out and basically asking what subjects they need they need help with and everything along those lines and then what i do is i pair a tutor with a student based on like common times and subjects um and then you know they the tutor discusses with the parents about um what they're actually going to do during the sessions and what the child needs help with and like kind of like more specifics and then they get they get ready with their first session they and then they have all the sessions for as long as they want they're 30 minutes and usually people do twice a week so um people are usually getting an hour of tutoring a week and julia when you had this idea it sounds like it originated from you Mm -hmm. how what was the process like so basically we started pretty locally we reached out to like local um preschools and like synagogues or churches or anything with like local children and we started from there and we also reached out to the Scarsdale Public Library and just any source of like any place that sends out like um, bulk emails to reach out and try to get some starting families and so we initially started with a few families and then we and then I decided um, that it would be good to use some social media platforms so we started with Facebook we posted different things in different moms groups because many people were struggling since in many schools online learning was very difficult for their children especially if they're working moms and they can't constantly be babysitting their children and so we just reached out on those platforms and then eventually people started recommending it to their friends and then we started going off from there. What has the response been like and what are some of the stories, if you have a couple that you want to share about um, families, experiences using this and just how appreciative they have been? Yeah, so um, everyone's been really appreciative for the most part. A lot of our parents are very patient and generous and, you know, always kind of on top of it. Um, a lot of our students are, you know, benefiting. I went on one of our classes because now we're offering classes over the summer. And it was just like so amazing to see all the kids like having something to do. And they were all like excited and kind of collaborating with children that they may not have met before. And it was just like really amazing to see this. Mm-hmm. Um, likewise, we've received a lot of positive emails um, from parents just thanking us for what we've done and how their children have really benefited from this. How many classes do you currently have? We decided to have these summer programs and we have about 10 and they're like magic, sports and fitness, arts and crafts, all these different free programs and they're Zoom programs led by our tutors. And so we um, have over 200 signups. Like some of these classes have like 50 kids in each. We also offer a martial arts class as well as a story time class that is led by like a retired teacher and actually a taekwondo like master so um it's really cool that we are able to bring in like professionals to teach these classes everyone seems to be having a great time in the classes and you know learning something that they might have not otherwise learned 
we're going to pick it up in September again, regardless of if school opens or not, because we hope to carry this on even like throughout our high school career. How many students, and you may not know this number, but how many students have you helped to date? How many people have been a part of Quarantine Tutors? So currently we have like 100 students signed up for like one-on-one -on -one tutoring. And we have like, I think we had like 300 signups for summer programs. That's um, a lot. Yeah, which is insane. What is the age range of signups? Can I sign up? <laughs> so um, I would say it like ranges from like preschool to like ninth grade. We're getting some more college um, uh, tutors, so they're able to, you know, tutor high school students. So I think that in the fall, we're going to open it up to more people because, you know, if we have a college tutor, they can help someone with like pre-calc or something. So if someone wants to get involved and get their children signed up, or if someone wants to tutor, how can they find you? So on our website, we have a section that's called signing up for tutoring or for being a tutor. And so there are two simple forms based on what you want to do. And so Betsy was talking about the form earlier for signing your children up for tutoring, but it asks very specific questions. So let's say like one of the questions is like, what subject do you want tutoring? So let's say you say algebra, then you say like what specific units. And so all the tutors can come prepared with worksheets and everything. And so we can pair on based on like which tutor knows the subject best as well as availability. What is your GoFundMe if people want to donate? And what does the money go towards? There's two things. So first off, we have our GoFundMe, which all the money goes to global giving. Um, but we've also, like, started to ask, like, for, like, donations separately to, like, just, like, quarantine tutors. Obviously, none of the money goes to any of the tutors or any of the organizers, but it's solely to, like, enhance our, like, um, services. So, like, we're trying to get a platform that's, like, specifically designed for, like, tutoring and everything. We're really trying to put in a lot of effort into making our services as best as possible. So, some things we're trying to um, do for the future is by September, we want to have an app. So, it, like, reminds people of, like, when their appointments are or anything like that and, like, the scheduling. And we also have our website and everything like that. So we're really trying, like obviously we don't have much experience as high schoolers, but we're trying our best to um, put our best foot forward. What have you learned from this experience? And I know you've given a lot, but have, mm -hmm. have you learned anything from it? Yeah, definitely. So um, I've definitely learned how, you know, like organization skills and kind of like how to lead something. You have to be very on top of it. And sometimes it can get like frustrating, but you kind of just have to keep going at it. And um, you have to keep constantly checking up on people. I think people um, want to know that they're being thought of. And I, yeah, like everything along those lines, just being patient with people and everything. And also another thing is just like communication and like leadership skills. Like we're constantly talking, not just to like parents and students and our tutors, but we're also talking to people who run new sources and local places and everything constantly emailing them on the phone, everything. And this is something that many high schoolers don't have experience with. So I think it will definitely help us in the long run. I think that there's a lot that's going to help you in the long run. You are both so intelligent and bright and obviously have huge hearts to put your time and energy towards this. And so thank you for the work you're doing. Really, there's not a lot of high schoolers that I think have the tenacity to stay with this from start mm -hmm. to finish. So thanks for the work that you're doing. I know that families appreciate it. Thank you. And for more inspiring stories, make sure to check out onlygood.tv. Visit us on Instagram at onlygood.tv. We'll be back soon with more hero stories on Only Good Heroes. Mm -hmm.